Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You are watching Expose. It is part two of Mubarak Stays. Do you know why? So I'll pick up where I left off. Okay, let's make it simple. Do it here in America or in Canada. Let's have this interview with a uh, just a standard citizen of it, of Egypt. I say, no, they won't do it. You will not because you are afraid of the same threat. I believe the only station who would dare air an interview like this would be Fox. I also believe our own government would not allow Fox to do it, or at least try to block them. And we'd probably call it a hate crime. You know, they come up with the stupidest things. Um, so, on the other, or the other reason, in order to prove Fox indeed interviewed a real family that knows the truth, some jerk lawyer or the federal government would somehow blow their cover therefore putting their lives and their families' lives and even their relatives' lives in danger that lives in Egypt. I believe that regime, Muslim Brotherhood, is simply that evil. It's okay for them, the Islamic radicals, to tell all Chicago, we will kill all the Jews and Americans without anyone speaking up or speaking out. But you, the journalists, you are Obama's puppets, period. We all know that. You, you, you brown nose. You know, I don't know what else to say, but um, we need some real men in there. I can say that. Give me away. I'll do it. Try me. The only one I fear is my God. Not a friggin' moon God named Allah. Test me. I'm here. And the real truth I will expose. That's who I am. So this tells me that Sharia law is clearly in charge, in charge of the hijack, the revolution, the coup. And um, I want to throw this in. Sharia law, if and when fully implemented, will be a travesty. In but a few years, there will be infighting. And at that rate, they would use and kill their own women they would allow their law to simply dissolve them in numbers. And I'm talking about going away. And um, I'll explain that one later. They would not be able to reproduce. Remember Sodom and Gomorrah? These people in Egypt are acting the same way. There were as many evil, gay, beastly men that would simply destroy each other given time. But God did it for them. The Jews can see a real possibility of the peace with Egypt going away. This also stated in previous blogs, then Jordan, then Saudi Arabia, then it's over. Jihad is in. They're in charge, and they're in charge of the military campaigns because they would be given a green light. I don't know we can handle that. Now back to Mubarak. He will probably use the military to disperse the out-of-control rioters. He already said, hold an election, vote for whoever you want, 
and under democratic process, the change will take place. But not from an outsider, not from a coup or a revol or revolution. In other words, I will not let Egypt fall to and through the same process Iran did. Iran now, as we know, is 100% dominated by the Muslim Brotherhood, Islamic extremists, and Sharia law. It is a country of constant martial law. Women have zero rights. This is my friend, is what Mark Mubarak is trying to keep Egypt from becoming prisoners in their own country. What is happening in Egypt is led by evil forces, and we do not know his name, but soon we will. And Iran Islamic radicals took 60 American hostages with almost and now almost ready to build a bomb, a nuclear bomb. So is Egypt next? Iran is ruled by Sharia law and wants Sharia law spread around the world. But first, all the Arab countries must fall or die. Now Obama. Now Obama. There's nothing you can do. You might think since you're Muslim, you have some influence. Believe me, you do not. Now the Muslim Brotherhood and the Islamic radicals with their evil Sharia law will attack Israel with the intention, intentions to remove the Jews forever. However, remember what the Bible said in Ezekiel, most of their armies will be destroyed and Islam will cease to exist. Now I say this because it will take the Jews seven months to bury the dead. That's right, read it. It's in black and white in the Bible and using hundreds of backhoes, bulldozers, loaders, it'll take seven full months to bury the dead. And if they are not burying the Muslims, then who are they burying? Who else in the world other than Hitler in modern days have said over and over and over, kill Jews, kill Americans? Muslims, of course. God's word is true and it will come to pass that Jews will be protected by our God. He said it. So check out Ezekiel, Matthew, John, and Revelations. We are in chapters 4 and 5, almost in 6. The revealing of the Antichrist, and this revealing could happen very soon. There can be a war before this comes. No one knows, but we do know the false prophet will enter into the body of the Antichrist who is already here and in charge for three and a half years. Does he come before the first attack on Israel or after so he can come and bring peace? I think the latter. I think he comes to bring the peace. And Jesus said the only way to the Father and to heaven is but by me. Jody Wolf, Expose.